Okay, hi everyone. I think we are finally live on this. Uh, first time I did this, so it's taking me a little bit to try to figure out how to get it set up. Uh, I think I have everything good though. And hopefully I don't have some sort of weird feedback or anything like that going on. And this may annoy me having these in because I can hear myself talking. Anyhow, hopefully I didn't lose any of you from the whole uh, debacle with waiting around. Sorry, let me unplug this quick. There we go. Okay, well I am flying kind of deaf because obviously I just took them out so I can't even hear what I'm saying. So if I'm too quiet or too loud, just send me a chat and I will uh, respond to that. Uh, as quick as I can. I think I can see what you're chatting. Um, like I said, I've never done this, so um, hopefully that is working and hopefully I'm somewhat entertaining. So, I'm not sure if anybody is watching yet. Uh, I have not. Oh, maybe. It says two people. Okay. If you are watching, just say something. Say hi. That way I know you're out there. So, today, uh, what I was thinking of doing was going back to... <laughs> hey, Paul. Um, was going back to my rocket boat from last year. And originally my thought was to totally redesign and rebuild the thing. If you haven't seen the video for that, uh, I thought about just playing it really quickly for you. I'm not sure if I can do that. But either way, go back to my old... Uh, videos and you can check out this. Um, it worked. The issue was that it tended to either lift out of the water or these little planes here uh, would actually pull it too hard into the water and then it went too slowly. So my idea was to redesign it and come up with something better. But uh, that time of year is coming up pretty quickly and I'm not sure I have time to totally rebuild this and I'm not sure I need to. So. The idea is to just do a quick design tonight of what I can change in this. And if you guys have any ideas on that, just shoot me a message and I will try to keep my eye on that as I'm going and uh, and we'll, we'll go from there. So the main things uh, I believe I wanna change are the these planes here. So I'm thinking I'll just remove these and uh, instead of using these to pull the boat into the water, the idea is to put a wing up here across the front, uh, preferably adjustable so I can adjust how strong it is. Hi, Nicholas. Uh, so the other thing I need to do is I think I want to add a, a rudder on the back, mainly for trim. I'm not controlling it. Uh, you know, adding electronics to it and all that it would be a lot more complicated. So the idea is to just run this back uh, and if I put the, the trim back here it should help keep everything straight uh, if you remember from last year it kind of turned as it went along I'm also swapping out for a different sort of engine and I'll have a couple videos on that uh, I'm actually gonna build my own engines that's the plan so between the tube the rudder or the trim adjustment and then the wing up here at the front um, that should keep us busy for a little bit <laughs> I see Megan likes the wing. Um, so, why don't we get started? So I'll pull up SketchUp. I already have it up here. Uh, I like to use SketchUp uh, for my designs. If, uh, if you can't see something or anything, just let me know. Like I said, I, I've not really uh, done this before, so I expect there to be issues. So this is pretty much what we're working with. Uh, you can see I have these these fins here on the side. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna delete them. I'm just gonna hide those. Um, I like using SketchUp. It isn't the most detailed program. I actually have AutoCAD and I have uh, Autodesk 360 Fusion, I think is what it's called. Fusion 360. Uh, but it's really a little bit harder to pick up and for simple things like this, uh, I tend to like SketchUp pretty well. So if you have any ideas on, on either other things I should add, or if you, know, you think I'm doing something wrong, you can also just comment that out and I will uh, 
I'll, I'll at least think about your idea. So we need to make some struts here. Uh, I think we want to put these, actually we may have to put these on the, the outside of the hall. I was thinking of putting them on the inside of the hall. But if I put them in here, uh, can you see my hand? You might not be able to see, you might not be able to see the pointer, can you? Can somebody say if they can see the pointer? I'm not sure you can. Oh, and I'm also hiding it. There we go. Maybe that's why you can't see the pointer. Sorry, I will get better at this over time. Uh, I just thought it would be an interesting thing to try since I had to do this anyways. Oh, and here's some screws I forgot to take out. So I'll just hide those. Yeah, I don't think you can see the pointer. At least I'm not seeing it on my uh, my preview. Let me... Uh... No, I'm not. Okay, nobody's commented yet. <laughs> okay, so I think what I want to do is add, I may want to add these struts on the, the very outside. Um, if we add the struts on the inside, the problem is I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to get in there uh, with the screwdriver and if I add them too far front. So let's actually just add them here. They'll be a little obnoxious, but they'll work. So, we'll split the difference. Uh, we'll come forward. Uh, let's just come forward. Uh, let's go forward like an uh, well, inch and a half. And we'll run that up the side. Hi, Aaron. You can't see the pointer. Okay. Uh, Well, I can, if you can uh, ignore my my screen, maybe I can get this better in the future. Let me just show you my display, and you'll see it gets a little bit weird, but now you'll at least be seeing everything I see, so um, you should be good there. So I don't want to run this uh, too low down here, I don't think, because we're going to end up in the water if I do. So let's just, uh, let's run across here about... I think you can get them in about an inch and a quarter. We'll just run an inch and run up again. One thing I like about SketchUp, you have uh, the axes. It's very well defined and you can just run things up and down. And then we'll just run out here about, uh, we'll make it a sixteenth of an inch. Yeah, come on here. Oh, sorry, now you can see everything including emails. <laughs> I may just, uh, let me just close some programs. You can see the pointer now, right? Yes, you can. Okay. <clears throat> so, 0.0625. Any ideas out there in the internet land? <laughs> okay, we will go up. Uh, let's go up an inch and see what that looks like. Boy, that doesn't look very... Uh, it's not looking very elegant. Is there a better way to do this? I'm sure there is. Whenever I start doing this, I, I always look at it, and I really like the, uh, the way that you can see things in the 3D. So then as you, you go and you play around with it, uh, oftentimes I'll see where I can simplify or, or make things look a little bit nicer. That's one benefit of doing it this way. So let's go up a little bit higher on this. Let's just go up another quarter of an inch or so. Basically, I'm just throwing up a strut to mount a wing across here. We have to mount these struts on the outsides because the 
Um, the top surfaces of the boat are literally just 132nd inch balsa. The sides are, uh, I think, 316th basswood or basswood. Uh, so it's a little bit, a uh, little bit more to screw into. I think for this wing, though, I may make something out of uh, wood to make a uh, almost like an airfoil type shape, and then put some screws in the end here. So let's. Um, for now, let's just uh, duplicate this over to the other side. Oops, didn't want to do that. So I'm just grouping it. It has been so long since I've looked at this model. A keel with ballast in the middle, says Nicholas. So you're thinking, let me. So you're thinking in here, I guess is what you mean. Um, we didn't have a lot of issues. I don't think we need ballast necessarily. Well, ballast might help. It would slow us down. Um, it's really stable side to side, like this. Um, I do need a a, uh, a way to straighten it. Uh, and like I said, I think for now the best way is to throw something off the back because as the thrust comes out of the rocket here at the back, um, it, it basically creates a drag point at the back of the boat and that should help pull you, pull you in a straight alignment. Um, I'm not sure about not sure about a keel. That's a good idea though. I mean, most boats are that way. When incidentally, when I put up this video, I ended up getting so many more comments than I ever thought I would. So let's go back to the design here quick. That's kind of cool. You get all those pictures. Okay, so I'm copying this piece over. Uh, we'll paste it in place. And then just let me drag it over. Ah, come on. There we go. So, I think... I think that's on the edge there. Nope. <laughs> let's, let's do this a little different. Sometimes I just throw lines across here. That way I have a nice endpoint to attach things to. So we'll just do that, and then we'll grab here somewhere. Nah, that didn't work. You know what? I'm just going to do this differently. Let's copy this. Well, how, how long was that across? If I know the distance, I can just... Nine, okay, so it's nine. I need to move it nine and a uh, sixteenth. One thing with 3D drawings, uh, it can take, oh, I didn't want to do that. It can take a while to uh, to do these, even when you know what you're doing. So 9.06, no, no, yeah, 06.25, okay. Okay, now we have our bars on both ends. It's kind of interesting, everybody was suggesting a wing. Uh, I didn't, I wasn't necessarily a huge fan of the idea. Um, but then as I thought about it more, it does make sense. We were just getting too much drag off those keels in the water. Uh, but when we get the, uh, with a wing, you'll have less drag because it's just in the air. Uh, let me explode these here so I can, so I can extend them up a little bit. We'll just go up another quarter inch or so. I don't want this thing too close to the water. I'm afraid at all. Um, hit the water or something and take the boat down. Well, now what happened? No, I think we're good. Okay. So we have the struts up. They are kind of ugly. I may I may modify that to make it make it look a little better. And then I'm kind of thinking for the the wing. Uh, I mean, we could just use a piece of flat um, flat aluminum. I think I would like to use use wood, uh, keep our, our center of gravity 
since that's up at the top, keep our center of gravity low and uh, it would be a little easier. It'd be nice to shape it into a sort of airfoil shape as well. So let's, uh, let's go over about a quarter of an inch and down a quarter of an inch. And we'll poke a we'll poke a little hole in here. Um, we'll just just kind of guess at our size right now. That will probably change when I get actual hardware. And then we'll punch that through. And we'll do the same over here. Five and oh, that's way too big. Yeah, we want sixteenth of an inch. Yeah, even an eighth inch hole is probably too big. I'll find out. Actually, I might have some nice bolts for that. <clears throat> I have some nice Allen heads that might fit that pretty well. So now let's uh, let's just put an airfoil in here of some sort. Um, We'll just start off the <clears throat> start off the middle. Oop, not that way. This is one issue with SketchUp I've I've always had is is making sure I get the the uh, the correct orientation when you're making a circle. Okay, so we'll just make this a little bit bigger. So let's do. Uh, Trying to think. Yeah, we'll just do three sixteenths. And basically, we're doing an inverted wing here, so um, this will just come back. Uh, we won't run it the whole way back. Guess eleven sixteenths, and we'll. This will just be shaped by hand, so... Uh. <laughs> yeah, I do need to make the rockets out of rune. Um, the, uh, I, I actually, I just picked up, picked up that. I'll show you that in a little bit, uh, what I'm planning on doing with that. So, in the past I bought my rockets, but that ends up being pretty expensive. So, uh, the idea is to actually try to make my own. And I may want to, may want to tip this a little bit more. I'm not sure how much of an airfoil that is. I'm trying to think, we need to. This is just kind of an estimate of an airfoil. SketchUp can be a little tricky on some of these things. Trying to, trying to do a nice airfoil. That's not a very good airfoil. Let me try this again. I guess it's good I'm not in aerodynamics. That might work. Oh, make a tangent. Okay, come on. There we go. Yeah, I generally work in thermodynamics. So if I don't get my aerodynamics quite right, uh, I'm not much of a fluids engineer. But if somebody is, or somebody has lots of experience with RC boats, you can chime in. Okay, so that is a bit of a, let's change that even a little bit more. I'm not happy with that. I kind of want to, I kind of want to put it inverted. <laughs> could do that. That might be a little bit. I don't know why I'm getting so picky on this. Uh, this foil. There, we'll just draw it like that for now. I, I don't think we're gonna quite use it like that. It'll all depend on how good my shaping is uh, when I, when I go to make this. Um, so in SketchUp, when I, when I'm doing things, a lot of times I like to make components of, of pieces. 
So let me do that on this, this end piece. The reason I do that is that all of these individual pieces, uh, if I don't make components of them, um, I mean, it's, it's nice to have them all separate so that you can turn them on or off or move things around if you want. And if you don't make them separate, um, you really, uh, you have trouble selecting them after the fact. So as I go, I tend to, to make things components or make them groups. I'm just grouping things, control G. So let me pull this over. Okay. <clears throat> And we have a wing. Like I said, I'm not sure that wing is uh, is entirely what I'm after. Um, <clears throat> it's a little crude looking. <laughs> and we may want to. That should give some. That should give some negative lift. I don't know. What do you think? While we're thinking about that, let me, I'll just move here to the back, make sure I save this. I had SketchUp crash on me earlier today, and fortunately it auto saved, so I didn't lose it. So this was our old engine tube. This is made to fit an E-size engine. I got my new engine material today. Uh, basically, the engines are going to be going into this 3 quarter inch PVC pipe. And the outside on that is, boy, it's, uh, you need like an inch and a, inch and a sixteenth inch tube uh, on the outside for that to, to slide into. So basically we'll be filling this with a, it's a sugar rocket, sugar and potassium nitrate um, and kitty litter. So we need to have a slightly larger, the tube needs to have a slightly larger inside diameter. This one currently is a piece of PVC. Uh, it's about one inch. So uh, I, I kind of want to just redo that whole tube. That tube is plastic and it ended up uh, kind of melting a little bit last year. So let me delete that. I'm going to keep this end plate that I had. Oh, actually, let me just hide this all instead. Okay, and we need a tube that it's it has to fit inside the existing hull. Um, we can just slide that out. It's just attached with a little clip at the back. There's a little clip back here, and then there's the little clip at the front. So that can all be removed relatively easily from the boat. So let me find the, the center here. Okay, there's our center line. I like to draw these these lines in the center line. It tends to help it out a little bit. The cool thing with SketchUp is it's totally free. So, um, I mean, I'm working off of a, a totally free piece of software here. You guys can go and grab it. I think you just go to, I don't know, SketchUp.com or something like that. So, let's make the inside of this circle. Uh, well, it's going to be 116, so... Uh, we'll do one and a, or, um, what is that, 17, 30 seconds, I guess. And you have to give it more sides to smooth it out a little bit. Okay, we have the inside of the tube, and then the outside of the tube, we will go with uh, pretty much what we had before. And hopefully I can find a tube in these dimensions. If I can't, we will figure something out. I found some copper tubes that, well, no, the copper tubes are too small. I, w I really want to use steel. Aluminum, uh, these rockets just burn through aluminum like nothing. But if you have steel, that should should help. So it looks like we're doing something like a, a five, five eighths on the outside. I'll just do it like this for now. And we'll give it, you have to give it more sides. You, after you put the circle, you just type like, 50s or I'm gonna do 60s and you can see it smooths it out makes a nice smooth circle there okay so now we have the new tube um, we can just get rid of the inside and then let me component make this a group up here yeah the 
something wrong there. That's the thing when you you can see the issue with selecting things. It it tends to want to select everything, um, and that can be that can be a real pain when you're <laughs> when you're trying to work in here. So this is why I've taken to uh, grouping things as I go. So there we go. I got that group by itself. And then we'll actually this whole hall should be grouped because uh, it's all individual pieces. So let's uh, select the hall and unselect some of this stuff back here. Ah, uh, that's not going to work very well. Well, this isn't working well at all. Tell you what, I'm actually modifying the hall a little bit. You can see the issue with the uh, with the low number of sides on these circles. That's one problem with SketchUp. It registers all of the circles as actually polygons, so you never you never get an actual circle. Ah. Uh. This is not behaving. We're close. <laughs> Tell you what, let me just uh, let me go ahead and delete this. Sorry, I'll have to do that again. Now we can group it all. We won't be really modifying that at all. Group that, and not that, and not that. Okay, there we go. I think we got it. I hope we did. Yeah, we got it. Okay. So. Now we'll go back in and work on this. Any questions? It's been a little silent. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in though. I wasn't sure how many people would show up, so um, I was hoping a couple would at least show up. I just thought I would try this and uh, see how it goes and if it's something any of you really like, um, I can can keep doing it. So what did I say? One and a sixteen. So seventeen, seventeen thirty seconds. And let's give it lots of sides. Sixty. And then we'll do the the outside of the tube. So the outside of the tube will just fit right here. And we'll do 80 sides on that because it's a little bigger. Delete the inside. And let's stretch it along. Okay. And then let's just group that together. Without this piece. So we'll group it. Oops. Do that again. There we go. Okay. Go back. Okay. And that is a. Oh, that's like. We'll just use steel, so it's like a dark gray. Okay. So the wing, we have the tube for the new engine, and then we have the. Um, the rudder. Uh, I guess uh, you guys have any other ideas on this? I know Nicholas, you mentioned running a keel on the bottom. Um, 
trying to think if that's at all possible. I could mount a plate. Then we would be running it at about, we'd have to run it, you know, 90 degrees to that plate. We have to have some adjustment on this as well, so that if it is tracking left or right, I can pull it out of the water and just trim it with a, a screwdriver or something like that. My current idea was to simply bolt a, a plate on the side and run that back and down kind of into the water. Uh, just on the one side, we could make it out of steel so that the, um, the rocket doesn't affect it so much. Uh, I'm afraid aluminum it could just get burnt. The and then just trim it uh, with some little screws here on the sides. I hate to I hate to mount too much on the bottom just because of extra drag. It would be interesting to mount a trying to think anything in this region gets burnt <laughs> as you as you would know if you I mean if you've seen the video um, now we'll think about it if you have any ideas just put them down Let's go up to this wing again. So we'll go and uh, paint this thing a little, make it look a little nicer. And uh, these tr struts. I actually think I'm going to move the whole wing back a little bit, or aft, I guess they would call it on a boat. So let's move it back by, I think it's an inch and a half off that. Let's, let's go back uh, about an inch. An ugly looking thing. These are going to be aluminum. So we'll update that. Aluminum, aluminum. Yeah, I wish those wings weren't quite so ugly. I guess we could go back a little bit on the wing. I'm not sure it would hurt it. Uh, we do have quite a big wing, and if we are back a little bit too much, uh, I think we should be okay. So let's go back a little bit more. At this point, I'm just kind of going for uh, for looks. <laughs> it's not helping. Let's just take it up, oh, redo that. We'll just leave it up here for now. Okay, so let's go back here and try out a, uh, a trim idea. These sides are kind of like up at the front. They are pretty thick. They're about 3 sixteenths of an inch. So we do have some structure we can bolt into. Um, I think, even though it's not symmetrical, I think it would work just to put your rudder on the one side. 
Uh, the reason being that we can trim it out so that it's straight. So why don't we just go ahead and uh, slap a piece of metal on here. So we'll just do uh, 0 0.0625, 16th of an inch. Uh, let's go up by let's see, one and a quarter. Um, I guess that's okay. Let me let me see what the total height is. One and one and three eighths. So we'll come down a sixteenth and and come out by a sixteenth. So the plan is to, this weekend, try out some rockets, actually build the engines, and then uh, I think it's another two weeks after that that I have to modify this thing to get it going. So we should be able to, to get this thing out before, uh, you know, in the next couple weeks. I'm also thinking of actually fiberglassing the boat just because the balsa is a little bit flimsy we didn't have issues with it. It actually stayed together last year. I was a little surprised about that, uh, but I think it would be good to um, to actually, uh, you know, just solidify everything up. So I'm thinking maybe just take some epoxy and some fiberglass and go over the whole boat. It'd be an interesting experiment. I've I've never really played with fiberglass. So we'll come down by like two inches. So my thought is if we mount if we mount a plate on the side this is the problem with trying to design stuff uh, as you guys are watching <laughs> all this stuff happens in my head uh, outside of when I'm actually filming things but now I'm actually trying to do it at the same time so uh, you guys can see all all the mistakes in my head. I'm a little bit tempted to actually wrap a piece of steel around the back of the boat just to hold everything together a little bit better and then we'll actually mount that piece of steel to the engine tube and that'll give us a nice structure to mount basically whatever we want to mount at the back so why don't i do that i think that might be a good idea so we're two inches that way uh, 0.0625 out here we'll runner well actually i don't even need to do that we can just let's do it the easy way so we'll come out by Sixteenth of an inch, and then we'll run across. Now we'll just throw it out extra long. Run this one out extra long, and chopper down this way. So I think I should be able to bend this on my brake. That thing has come in very handy. If you have not seen my video on my bending brake, I'm, I'd be very surprised. <laughs> That's brought more people to my channel than anything else. So uh, I would expect you've seen that video. And I actually have another project that I need to get the video up on that I did the other week uh, that involved the bending brake as well. So. I will, that'll actually probably be the next video that comes out, and then the, uh, maybe the rocket boat, and then we'll probably go back to the drill press a little bit. So the drill press is kind of having to wait on some of this. The, the rocket boat, I'm moving to that because it's the time of year when we do the rocket boat things. Um, so that's, that's the main motivation for, for why I'm doing this right now, in case you're wondering. So why isn't this, normally this will, let me just hide this quick. Oh, that's a problem. Okay. There we go. So run that out. And we have a little 
piece here. Oh, we have a issue on this though. Oh, that's the issue. Okay. So we just need to fill in that corner. There we go. Okay, now we have a nice piece of steel wrap there. Let's uh, pull in that hidden hidden part. Unhide that. Can you guys still hear me okay? I, I imagine so. Like I said, I, I took my... Uh, took my earphones out. That was just uh, really annoying me to hear myself talking a, a little while after I talked. There's a slight delay. Okay, there we go. So pull that out by a sixteenth of an inch. Pull it out this way by a sixteenth of an inch. And then delete the connections. Oops. Okay, I actually like that idea. We did have some issues last year with the engine actually lifting out of the back of the boat, which isn't a good thing. Um, actually, that was just the first run. We had an issue with that. So this, we should be able to mount everything in there a little bit, a little bit better. Now my thought is to to just run get a drink of water. Just to run the like I've been saying, run the, the keel right off of of here. There has to be a simple way to do it. I mean, we could run... It's easy enough to run it off the sides, but then I need to put shims or something underneath the, the screws to trim it. And I hate to do that. Well, let's just do that for now, and uh, we'll do something. <laughs> I'm not thinking of anything better. You may see this change uh, by the final product, but um, have that aluminum. We'll make that steel just uh, just to keep it from melting or help it keep from melting. These rockets are a little bit hot. And then there will be a little tab here at the back too to, to keep everything connected. Uh, so now we'll run a piece off of here. I'm just going to mirror this. And then we'll shoot it back. Boy, let's say an additional five inches. And we'll, we'll angle that down a bit. So let's go down by... Let's go back down by two. That wasn't two. That was one. Okay. Um, no, that, that might be what we want, actually. 
So then we'll, we'll run this back to there. Okay, that gives us a that gives us a starting point. So something like that, and then uh, let's say let's go back like another half an inch, and run her down by. No, oh, I don't want it terribly deep, uh, but let's let's go down by another one and a quarter, and. Uh, We'll go an inch, inch on the bottom, and then uh, just really rake that up, maybe, and something like that. That looks kind of cool. A little wild looking, but that should uh, that should effectively trim the boat, I would think. I may want to adjust that a little bit. Let's. Uh, it doesn't need to be that. I don't think it needs to be that big. So let's just run this straight out like that. That way we get a little bit below. Actually, I want to run this down away from the engine a little bit more too. So let's go down by like half an inch here. I'll just run that like, that yeah, might be a little bit. Let's not do quite that much. Let's do something like that. You guys don't have to ask questions about the boat. If there's other questions you want to ask too, uh, you can ask those as well. Uh, I'm sure there's different things that maybe you've been wondering about, um, unless you you already know me. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit cleaner look right there. So we'll just run her. It's a little bit of a toss up. I, I want it in the water so that it doesn't get too hot. Uh, but I don't want it to be, I don't want too much drag um, from that thing in the water. You know what would be interesting is to, uh, if we just put a hinge here, You know, I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. So, how high is this? I might just be able to put a five eighths of an inch. I might be able to just put a regular hinge of some sort in here. Trying to think. If I don't, I wonder if you could just use a little thin piece of metal or something. Let's let's do that for now. Let's um, let's assume we have a little hinge here. So, quarter of an inch. Come up five eighths of an inch. Quarter of an inch. Uh, actually, we probably. No, we'll do a quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch down. Just a tiny little hinge. I think I should be able to just put a regular, you know, a regular hinge of some sort in there. Um, and uh, let me see here. I can just machine cut that off. So this will be a sixteenth of an inch, and we'll just bring these out for now. I 
I would think that'll be that would be maybe strong enough. Especially if we bolt right into the, the steel plate. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change that around. So, instead of attaching the hinge there, why don't we do this? It'll reduce drag. This is why I like using uh, 3D design. You can really get into what you're working on and just change things around um, as you find issues with them. Because I'm always finding issues with whatever I'm making. Uh, it takes a bit of time to do all this, but it's really worth it from that perspective that um, you know, you don't make the mistakes when you're making it. Um, the mistakes are pretty much made now. Not that I don't make mistakes later, but uh, there's more mistakes now. Okay, so if we put the rudder there, uh, and then we'll actually... Let's actually slide this over just a tiny bit. Actually, we'll, we'll slide it out and slide it over. So, slide her out by... That pin might be an eighth of an inch. Yeah, and then we'll have to come over by 16. Okay, let's go right there. Yeah, if I just use a commercially available hinge, um, most likely you're gonna have, um, you, you know, you're gonna have the, the thickness of the, the hinge joint to deal with here. So, we have the hinge. And then we're going to have to uh, put in the pivot. And I said an eighth of an inch on the pivot, so let's make the pivot... Um, um, trying to think how we want to do this. Okay, we'll go a sixteenth of an inch. And we'll go a sixteenth of an inch that way. Uh, it gives us a nice flat spot. Draw that circle. And let's uh, put this in. So, um, what's less than a sixteenth? Uh, zero point zero um, five. That might be a little bit big. It doesn't have to be after zero point zero four. We'll just use whatever hinge we have. And then we're going to have to. I think if we go sixteenth of an inch, okay, and then we'll do a quarter of an inch this way, sixteenth uh, of an inch out, cut that back in, okay, perfect, and there's that. I'm just going to delete out this, so we'll just extrude her down, and uh, delete that, yeah, maybe I didn't want to do that. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. That's ground. That's right. So this will need to be extruded straight straight down. And then uh, this one will actually be, be a special size. There we go. Okay, so the hinge is coming together. We will need to extrude, we'll have to extrude that, and we'll have to extrude that, the pin. Yeah, maybe I'll just leave it hollow. It doesn't need to look quite right, and then we extrude this. Okay, so there we have the hinge, I think. Yeah, I don't know if I wanted to do that. center. That center didn't come out quite like I wanted. These little things bug me. So 
We run that up. <laughs> oh, we keep getting the uh, keep getting the pin through. I tell you what, I'm just gonna cover it. Take that out, and uh, we'll just cap it. Looks better, anyways. Uh, I don't think our hinge is quite symmetrical. Let's see here. That's a quarter of an inch. Uh, that's the reason. 0.25. Okay. We we uh, started off the back, not the front. So we'll just do that. And there's the hinge. Um, I'm gonna make that a component or a group. Try not to get any of this other stuff on here. You see, it can be a little tricky to do this, but this is why I do it now and not, not later. Let's just do it like that. Okay, there we go. Any of you guys still out there? I haven't heard anything in a while. There we go. Got the keel covered up. So now you can see we're in line with the the body of the boat, which should keep it um, and just keep the water flow a little bit better. And I don't think that'll affect our our rocket, and it should hopefully not melt. But the problem is it's gonna the whole thing's just gonna flop around right now. So uh, what we do need is we're gonna have to put uh, some sort of rod over to this other side. And to do that, we're going to have to, um, I guess, maybe create a, a little L bracket that we can mount the, actually, let me, let me just group this thingy as well. Pretty happy with that. That looks pretty good. We'll, we'll go back and, and modify that later, but just trying to get an idea of how things lay out. I think overall this is looking a lot better than last year's and uh, it, it'll look better as we go forward so let's add a let's add one more L bracket on this side uh, the reason I'm gonna do it over here is just to um, so 5 8 let's just go in uh, boy how far in is that one I'm try to make it symmetrical if we can Seven sixteenths. Okay, so we'll just uh, run in uh, seven sixteenths. Run down to the bottom. Run over. Extrude that out by a sixteenth, and then we'll put a put the L on and extrude that out. Um, Seven sixteenths. Now, my idea was to just put a, a rod over to here, but now that I'm looking at it. I'm realizing there's going to be quite a bit of torque, uh, the potential to be some torque on this bar, and I'm wondering if there shouldn't be um, a support from here over somehow. Uh, like I say, I, we're getting a little bit close to the engine. I hate to run, I hate to run stuff in this region. Um, Could do. We could do it on this side of the boat. It might not be a big deal. 
I think when it's running, this should mostly be out of the water. Yeah, we'll, uh, I think this will work. So I'll extend this up a little bit. So we're at five eighths, so let's go up by three eighths. We'll just make it an inch tall. 0.0625, uh, run that down, and then somewhere, um, somewhere like here maybe, is where we'll run her up, like that. <laughs> I yeah, I just I, I just hope we're not gonna burn through. This is a tricky thing compared to a regular boat where you have just a prop coming out the back. Um, this thing you actually have fire coming out the back. Is there a better way to do this? Well, I'm quite certain if we if we just mount in the middle here. So what we'll do is um, let's even make that a little steeper, maybe. Just keep it away from that. There we go. Keep it away from that flame a little. And. Uh, Explode this out, and we'll run that across, and undo it there, undo that, okay, and then we need to fold this, this top edge, so we'll uh, <clears throat> basically create a um, oh, probably a quarter inch is good. It's small, but yeah, a quarter inch should be good. One, two, five. And uh, that will uh, we'll run that down. Just uh, let's just run it down three eighths of an inch, and then run it <clears throat> run it back in there. And this will go 16th and up. Okay. So. <clears throat> so there we have our tab, and hopefully. Hopefully, that is enough and it doesn't doesn't uh, flex too much in that region. Because I don't feel like welding a little gusset in there. <laughs> None of this is, is very big. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and add a, a bracket on here then. So 
we'll just come back. <clears throat> oh, that's actually, okay. So we need to come in into here, okay. And uh, instead of running it right on the edge, we'll run it back in by half an inch or so. And we'll just do the same size, so. 3 eighths of an inch. Um, we'll go half an inch. No, we'll go. It's a quarter of an inch enough. No, we'll go half an inch. And uh, 3 eighths. Come back in. I'll pull that out by a sixteenth. And then we're going to have to stick our little end on it and we'll pull that out by I hate to go 3 8 but yeah let's go 3 8 this boat is a lot smaller than you think and we will pull this one out out to the same point <clears throat> So now you can kind of see what I'm what I'm doing here. This is for the adjustment, and we will basically just slide a a, a bolt through here. Um, let me throw a hole in there, and that'll make a little more sense. So here to here is three eighths, uh, so three sixteenths, and then we drop down another three sixteenths, and we'll throw a. Let's just throw a, boy, an eighth inch hole. I don't want to go that big. Let's just do an eighth inch hole. And we'll run that through. I should uh, should look at this this chat. Wow, there was eight of you at one point. I'm not sure if there's any right now. Say hi or something. Okay, we'll pop the hole through here. And there we go. So, I don't know if I'm going to put the bolt in right now. Uh, I'll put the bolt in later, and uh, we'll, we'll deal with that. Um, actually, you know what? I might want to... I'm going to make this a little bit longer down this way, just because that needs to be bolted on properly. Um, so what we'll do is, uh, you know, what is that already? That's like, uh, three eighths, or, oh, three eighths from the bottom. Oh, that's three eighths. Seven sixteenths, eight sixteenths. That's just a tiny bit longer, so let's just go back a sixteenth of an inch. That way they're the same. So now it's three eighths. Um, we'll go... We'll just go one eighth, and then let's do another quarter. So that should be three quarters of an inch. No, it's not. <laughs> well, three quarters of an inch from here. Yep. Okay. That gives us plenty of room to put in a couple screws, things like that. Okay, and we can get rid of this little guy. Well, that is very um, asymmetrical. I don't think we'll have issues with, with that dragon in the water. Um, I think steel should be strong enough that we won't have issues with that flexing. Uh, I really like 
this angle here, let me match that angle down on this other piece. These are just the little things I like to do to, to make everything look a little bit neater. So now that we have that angle, we can kind of come back here and uh, readjust. Oh, wow, that's, that's a lot shallower. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a lot shallower. Wasn't expecting it to be quite that shallow. Let me um, let me think about that. Maybe I'll actually just redo my my axis to this one. Come on, those axis. Okay. By redoing the axis, then you can draw things along that axis. That's how I'm able to uh, put things in the, uh, you know, kind of in the same orientation here. So if you notice, like, uh, if I want this to come off at the same angle as that, um, I can just do something like that. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave it the way it is. I'm a little concerned about how that, that might come out, so. Let's go back to our regular axis. So now we need to find something like this corner. Ah, messing it all up. Okay, tools, axis, and we'll, we'll square that up to there. Okay, excellent. Now for the this piece, well, group up our pieces. the rudder and then we have this bracket here you know what instead of doing that I have another idea why don't I yeah I'm not gonna do it that way this is the sort of thing I I tend to do when I'm building things you, you get to a point where you realize that you can just simplify stuff, so then you just, you end up simplifying it. So let's get that center and just run her down through. That way we have a good, good starting point. And then I'm actually just gonna bend the end of, of this sheet. Um, I don't know if I want to bend it there or if I want to slide it back first. I, yeah, I know what I want to do. I want to, I want to bend it out by three eighths of an inch. Um, so I'm going to um, come from there. Just give me a starting point. I'm going to peel back three eighths of an inch. Go down three eighths of an inch, go over, down, and down, and we'll just peel that back. And that will become that will become the bend. Um, now all we got to do is pop in our pop in our little piece, our little hole, and we have our our alignment for our bolt. So obviously the bolt will be a little bit longer now, um, but overall we have one less piece to make. So that makes just everything a little bit simpler to make, and simpler to make is good. Okay, so the keel comes down, goes in the water. Um, it should start hitting the water here. This is pretty much all in the water. Um, actually, we may, well, I won't worry about it now. 
That, that may get adjusted later, but if it gets adjusted later, it gets adjusted later. The other side will not have anything. We'll just stick a bolt through there, duck, put nuts on both sides, lock those in, probably maybe a lock nut of some sort. Just turn a screw here, that'll turn our rudder left and right, and we'll just fix it, um, run it, see what happens, and then adjust it um, from there. Uh, let's go back up to the wing. I do have one or two more things I want to do to this. Uh, as I was working back there, I realized that what is really throwing me off on this is the the these supports are just perfectly straight up and down. So if we make these uh, tipped, kind of like in the back, uh, everything should look a little bit neater. So let's just um, trying to think if there's a, a slope I could match. I'm not sure that there is, but we'll come up with something that looks good. Actually, this angle here, yeah, that's not that's not steep enough. We'll we'll go with a shallower, much shallower angle. So let's bring this down. Yeah, we'll, we'll use numbers. <laughs> Well, yeah, we'll bring it down something like something like this, and um, that'll come forward to there, and that'll come up to there. Actually, that's not the way to do it. We need to. No, that that works. It's just we're gonna have to bend or maybe something like this. Yeah, that'll work better. It'll be a little stronger. Um, and then on the back of this, let's, let's try to match that. So we'll set our axis to the back of this. There we go. And then we'll Actually, let's, uh, let's flatten that out. No, not that badly. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I'll just delete this. This rear structure doesn't really need to be here. Um, the wing doesn't need to have an end, really. I guess that might... Uh, maybe that would look a little bit better. We'll leave it. Um, we'll just go... We'll just go like that. And continue that down to there. Okay, much cooler. It's amazing what a little bit of... Yeah, it's amazing what just a little bit of, of rake can do to your, <laughs> to how it looks. Um, actually, I may even try just a little bit more here. Just a little more extreme. Incidentally, these may help keep it straight, too. I wouldn't expect a lot, but... Boy, I kind of wish I could run the whole way up to the front of the boat. That makes it look a lot better on the side. The only thing I'm worried about is these aluminum plates, if we can get them. That's one and a half. Yeah, we really should have this. Uh, I know I can get one and a quarters pretty easily. So let's go with one and a quarter. And, uh, oh, our axis is way off. So back to our regular axis. And 
and then we'll uh, we'll do that. So I know I can get one and a quarters um, pretty easily. I use those on the uh, drill press. And I don't know, I kind of like this really long, <laughs> this long extended uh, strut. I think that looks a lot, it looks a lot neater from the side. It's uh, relatively symmetrical. Uh, the only thing is, um, what do we do at the front here? So we can run it out to the end and do something like that. Actually, we're not we're not quite ready for that. We need to Everything's going to have to come down by a quarter of an inch, I think. So, let's take Yeah, see this is the problem when you don't have things grouped properly. These cross members need to be grouped. There we go. And then we can kind of just come in. And we should make sure they're not selected. Slide everything down by a quarter of an inch. Okay, quarter of an inch down. That makes the wing a little bit lower, but that should be fine. I don't see why that's an issue. I just want to get it down low enough that we have uh, places to bolt into here. And then uh, we can just rake off the front. And we'll, we'll rake down. Let's do something like that maybe. Let's see what that looks like. That looks good. I have tempted to slide this forward again. Let's do that. Slide it forward by, say, an inch. That'll put us right out under the nose, and then we'll uh, we'll run that. Obviously, a little steeper now. From there, let's run her down. I'm still looking to see if you're commenting. It's okay, if you're not. Gives me a chance to work. <clears throat> I do like reading them though. Okay. That actually looks pretty decent. We'll just screw in a couple places here. We may have to, to drop this down just a, a little bit. Um, 
Let's pull this face face along too. And bring just bring it in here. I'm just kind of estimating. Some of this will just be drawn in, but okay. And you know what? I'm going to even go and <sighs> that's one issue with um, with these sections. Uh, sometimes you can put too many sections, and it'll um, not like it. So it's easy enough to round that off. Uh, we can just round that off and uh, make everything look a little a little neater. Not sure what that'll look like, but. Uh, that looks pretty cool. So let's take that out by a sixteenth of an inch and bust out. Now that hole isn't busted out, <laughs> but we'll mark it that way we know where it is. And then we'll I think we'll just remake it. Let's hide this piece. Yeah, right there it is. Yeah, we need to remake it. Sometimes when you when you uh, draw things like this, eh, no, we lost it. When you draw things like this, you have to uh, remake the holes when you redo the surfaces. Um, it can be a little bit of a pain, but... Uh, there you go. And then we will bring back in the hidden one. Okay, I feel like I should really paint these aluminum pieces this time, um, just to clean it up. So let's uh, let's put this on, group that, and then we'll slide it across. Copy it. You want to paste it in place, and then we will click it and drag it across. to here. Okay, perfect. Uh, paint them something decent, aluminum color. And that should pretty much do for the redesign, I think, at this point. Um, any other things you guys can think of? I think this should keep the front end down and then this should be able to be adjusted and hopefully with the rudder this far back uh, it'll pretty much track straight to begin with um, overall I think it looks a lot cooler than before and it looks a lot uh, it looks faster too so what color um, I'm gonna repaint it and I think we should change the color just so we know that it's a new boat. Um, I had one guy suggest blue. It's going to be a pain. Ah, I don't want to make a component. I want to explode it. Sometimes you have to explode these to paint them. I had somebody suggest blue uh, based off of, I think it was Glenn Campbell had the, what they called the Bluebird high-speed boat. He ended up crashing it and dying uh, way back when. And uh, so I could go blue. I also thought about going black, just because I, I kind of like black. Um, I don't know. Is anybody, anybody uh, partial to anything in particular? Come on. Explode. Uh, 
I kind of like the the red. It looks kind of fast. The blue also doesn't look bad. It just doesn't look as fast. <laughs> There it is in blue. I kind of think I should paint these too. Yeah. If I paint those, that will, uh, that'll really help that out. And maybe I even want to paint, I don't know if I want to paint this piece. We don't have that piece grouped. Problem is, if I do go steel on that piece, it could rust. Yellow. <laughs> Kevin says yellow. Well, you want me to try yellow? I can, let me, uh, actually, I tell you what. What I'm going to do is, let me finish up this piece here. And then I will just save this and um, save as a new a new uh, drawing. So let me file, save, and then we'll do file, save as, and we'll just save this as, uh, and we'll put it in our uh, McJosher file. Rocket boat, yellow. Okay, let's try this out. Uh, I mean, we can go with a darker yellow. If we go with a bright yellow, like a lemon. Uh, I wish I could just change these. <laughs> Some of these I can. This should look fast. This is dramatically, uh, boy, it's kind of neat though. Tell you what, I should, uh, I should just should make these multiple, comp put these components. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Explode these together, yeah, and then group them together. Okay, perfect. And let's do that with this. Just make this a little quicker. Uh, explode, and then paint, and group. Okay, good. Now we don't have as many pieces to uh, to undo. That's kind of cool. You still like it, Kevin? <laughs> Actually, let me, um, let me change, change this around here a little. background take the sky out oh background licorice yeah I'll just go white yeah yellow is a good color for for looking fast uh, yeah better than blue the blue looks 
kind of... Now, let me open that again. It just looks kind of slow. <laughs> the red's good too. I just kind of want to change it up so that it looks like a different boat because it should be a pretty different boat. Some sort of two-tone. You mean like a, a yellow and... Like do, do two, different, two different colors on there. Let me pull up pull up this one again I could do something like this nah, I'm not sure about that there's always orange Another color I thought about was green. I had been doing this whole green theme uh, a little while ago, if, if any of you remember. Uh, and we had kind of like a, a crazy lime green, uh, which actually kind of looks somewhat good with the... <laughs> That's a little bit crazy. But it looks somewhat good with the... Um, I really wish I didn't have to ungroup these things to paint them. It's really a pain. I mean, I guess the other thing would be you could paint, um, you could actually paint multiple colors on the same hull. That might look kind of neat too. Um, I'm just looking at my, my color palette here, see if there's anything else that kind of strikes my eye. I'm going to I'm going to explode this thing and just make it gray again. Just so it's one less thing to change. These would look kind of neat a different color. The, the only thing is the the more things I paint, the more things I have to to mask off. Which I can do. It's uh it's just a matter of doing it. It does look kind of neat with those um, black like that, though. A little partial to the green, Kevin. It's interesting doing it that way. <clears throat> I kind of like the two-tone. It, it breaks it up a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, having like the, the wing, like, like a, a black or a dark gray. And then just match... Uh, you know, if we can match all the the other colors, boy, if I could get stainless steel, that's what I should get. I should get a stainless steel tube, and then I should get uh, stainless steel for all of these components. Um, that way, I don't have to worry about it rusting. And then I can just come in and and paint this stuff uh, black or or whatever. That would look pretty slick. And even if I got even if I got like stainless up here, yeah, I, I like those painted. It makes it, it really makes it look like part of the hall.
That might be what I'll go with. What do you think, Kevin? So what happens if we go black? Kind of like I'm partial to dark gray. I wear two two colors of t-shirts. I dark gray and and black. Okay, I think that we are pretty much done for now. Um, this is probably pretty close to what you will end up seeing. I may play around with some more colors and, and maybe I'll throw some up on Instagram. If you guys uh, are curious uh, or, or want to vote on those, um, maybe I'll, I'll throw up a couple different color options and see what comes up to be the favorite. Um, hey Snazzy, you're a little late. Uh, the, uh, uh, yeah, so I may throw up a couple of these, uh, on Instagram and just kind of get your impression on, on what color you like. Um, I mean, right now it's kind of looking like maybe something like this with the yellow, uh, is what I'll go with. Um, but I'll play around with a couple different options. I think though, design wise, uh, unless you guys see any huge flaws with this, I think think we're pretty well nailed away um, you know like I said the main thing was I wanted to adjust for the the new engines and then uh, adjust the wing or add a wing uh, take off the old keels and then add this this rudder assembly at the back so we can trim everything out so I'm hoping that we can get this thing to run straight and stay on the water although it's a little more exciting when it comes off the water and uh, we can um, hopefully have something pretty exciting to show you uh, for that. So I'm also excited to get the drone up there and see what I can do with that because I didn't have that last year. So last year when I did this, uh, I think we were, well, we were a much smaller channel and didn't have quite the, quite the, the toys to play with that I do now. So uh, it should be fun. Um, so yeah, uh, I think I may cut this off here and like I said, I'll throw some stuff up on Instagram. My username's just McJosher, um, M-A-K-J-O-S-H, well, it's right on the screen. And, uh, you can, um, let me, there we go. You can, you know, check that out and I will throw up a couple of these designs. Um, I do put stuff up there now and then. Uh, things I'm working on, I really should do more. I'm trying to, to do that more. Uh, it'd be nice to interact. Wait, I have this. No, I'm good. Um, yeah. So, anyways, I will... I think I'll cut this off now, and we can all head to bed if, if you live in the Eastern Time Zone. And, yeah. So, I will be sending a video out before too long so you guys can watch for that. So, I'll see you then. That's it.